Hello everyone and welcome back to Fate Stay Night. Previously, Shiro tried once again to use his strengthening magic on the lamps, and there was a tiny improvement, but definitely not enough to be super happy with. And Shiro actually eavesdropped on Rin and Saber. Apparently Rin is starting to believe that something about Shiro's nature is not natural. There's something about the way he does magic that said that Rin thinks defies reality, and that sounds a lot like the nature of sorcery to me, so who knows what's going on there. And Archer did have some more words for, for Shiro, quite unexpectedly. Archer said that Shiro should focus on what he knows and understands, and that Rin isn't fit as a teacher for him, and Shiro would be better served by another novice to teach him. Which is weird, but Archer did not elaborate. And then it ended off with Shinji giving Shiro a call, and it sounds like Shinji's about to do something awful to the school, so... Let's see what that's all about. Well, yes, as I said, off-camera, I did rewind a bit, and I did choose the eavesdrop option, so we are continuing in a... in a, uh... reality where Shiro did eavesdrop about what Rin thinks about him. So, let's just continue on. The conversation ends there. The phone is repeating a boring beeping sound. What's with him? But, what should I do? I haven't been able to find Osaka in the house, and if I'm going to school, I can't take Saber. Still, I'm worried what Shinji will do if I refuse his invitation. He seems distraught after being refused by Tosaka last night, and he might hit Sakura again if I leave him be. Right. It's still light out, so there should be no problems. If that's decided, I should hurry. I make it for six period if I run. Okay. Well, everything looks normal. There's nice tranquil music. There is no one at the school gates. As it's class time, it looks from outside like the school is empty. There must not be any PE classes at the moment as nobody is out in the yard either. Well, this will all change in a little while. School's over once sixth period ends. The schoolyard and the gate should be filled with students. I reach the third floor. Of course, the hallway is empty as well. Class is in session, and it feels a bit awkward walking to Class C like this. Well, it's not like I'm completely visible, so let's hurry to the classroom. Class C is down the hallway. This class by the stairs is Class H, so I'll have to walk past five classes to get there, Huh? The dizziness hits me suddenly. It attacks my whole body with nausea. Whoa. Whoa. Touch fuzzy, get dizzy. <laughs> my stomach crawls around. My senses are reversed. My vision is filled with crimson. As if blood has seeped into my eyes, everything in my vision tints red. The temperature hasn't changed, but my body is strangely hot. What is this? My feet tremble. I can't put any power into my body. I'm weakening like an hourglass, unable to stop it. It's as if I'm breathing out my insides with every breath. Yeah, no. The rune is active. Oh my god. I'm suffocating. My throat hurts. Could it be that the oxygen has disappeared from the hallway? No, from the whole school? 
As if urged by my gasping lungs, I lean against the wall and open the window unconsciously. Whoa, what's that in the sky? Oh, it's a dome, isn't it? My mind freezes. The scale of the situation erases even my confusion. Outside the window, around the schoolyard is a field of red. It's as if only this school is cut out, surrounded by a red world. The school building is an altar covered by a red canopy. And with that, finally, I understand that this is that kind of a thing. I move away from the window. Holding my wobbling legs firm with my will, I enter the classroom in front of me. Whoa. Inside is the result. There are no students sitting in their chairs. All the students are on the floor, and the teacher that was probably standing on the platform is lying on the ground as well. They are still breathing. Everyone is convulsing as if asking for help. There are no fatalities yet. It's just that they don't have the power to stand up, and they'll soon rot away. Seeing their miserable condition on the floor... I add them to the wreckage from long ago. <coughs> My nausea gets the gets stronger, but I deal with it calmly. I observe the students on the floor. Even though it's hard to breathe, it doesn't mean they can't breathe. They are only weakened. I can still save them if I hurry. And the instant I check the face of a student nearby, a sound goes click inside my head. The skin. It's melting. Not everyone, though. There must be an individual differences, as the most weakened students are starting to have their skin melt away. Oozing. Inflamed arms like a keloid, and eyes that look like that of a dead fish. What is a keloid? I have never heard that before. I know this. I know a scene like this. Yeah, now. Stop. This is just hell. I know it from a long time ago. Yeah, now. So stop. And so, eclipsing fear, anger overtakes my body. My left arm throbs. The command spell on my hand tells me an enemy is nearby. I run, still breathing hard. My mind has already gone insane. Uh-oh. Yo, Emiya. Hey, Emiya. Thank God you look better than I thought. How is it? Do you like this idea? Across the hallway, Mato Shinji is standing right in front of Class C. My arm throbs. The command spell tells me that the man standing there is the cause of this. Okay, um... Was it always a thing that command spells would indicate to the user, the possessor of command spells, that enemies were nearby? Because this command spell throbbing that Shiro's noticing, it only started after he uttered stop with conviction. I have to wonder if he didn't inadvertently use one of his command spells to order Saber to stop. But I guess we'll find out for sure. But anyway, Saber is back at home, and Shiro's here, presumably with Ryder. Presumably. This is your doing, Shinji? 
Unable to breathe properly, I stand there and glare at Shinji's distant figure. He must really like how I'm acting. Shinji spreads his arms exaggeratedly and laughs aloud in the red hallway. So, that's right. I knew you were here, so I quickly activated the boundary field. I had trouble getting the right timing, you know? You'd, st you'd have run away if I did it too early, and we'd have met up if I did it too late. As for me, I wanted to see you go pale, so I didn't want to make this too simple. God damn it, Shinji. I see. So you were lying about having something to talk about. Talk? That starts now. I have to show Tosaka which one of us is superior, and I also have to apologize for lying to you. See, I didn't tell you, but I'm the one that set up the boundary field at school. Ha 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 ha, Shinji laughs cheerfully. Th that makes me realize from the bottom of my heart. この結果は僕じゃないって言ったのにエミアは信じてくれなかったんだいいねいいねお前でも人を信じないなんてことがあったわけだはは<笑><笑> You're not as surprised as I thought you'd be What? I told you the boundary field wasn't mine But I guess you didn't believe me <laughs> That's great That means for once even you didn't believe someone his laugh drills into my skull. I'll make this clear, but I'm surprised enough. I was only prepared for the discovery that the master who constructed the boundary field was either Shinji or this other master. That's all. This is the result of the optimistic view. Back then, as soon as I figured out Shinji was a master, I should have settled this matter. So this is my mistake. Shinji! Shinji, why did you set up something like this? Were you lying when you said you had no intention of fighting? Yeah, Nope, it's true, isn't it? I didn't intend to activate it either. This was only for negotiation. If I set a bomb, Tosaka won't attack me so readily, and it can be my trump card in case something happens. I see. But Tosaka said the boundary field needed a few more days' as preparation. Was her estimate wrong? Tosaka's <laughs> <laughs> I knew she'd think like that. The boundary field is not complete, but its shape is already there, you know. There's no problem just activating it. Ma, 
Well, the effect is lower because of that. It should take at least a few more minutes to kill anyone. Tomera! Stop! The nausea has already gone away. I say so, staring directly at Shinji. There is only one way this can actually stop. Shiro would have to kill him. That's the only way this can stop. Tomero? Stop? Stop what? Don't tell me you're telling me to stop this boundary field. That'll be such a waste. I can't just stop something I've already started. Stop! Do you know what you're doing? You're annoying me. Are you ordering me around? This is my power. The only one who can decide whether or not to stop it is me. And if you want it stopped, isn't it logical to at least kneel and beg to me? Jeez, you and Fujimura, you guys don't know your positions. Hey, what about Fujini? Huh? Oh, Fujimura. She could move pretty well after I activated this boundary field. Everyone else was falling to the ground, but she was still wobbling, you know. And she came to me, still upright, and told me to call for an ambulance. It's amazing. Wouldn't you say she's a model teacher? But I shouldn't call for something like that, and I didn't even want to. That Fujimura kept clinging to me and it got annoying, so I kicked her, and she ended up not moving at all. <laughs> In that state, I think she'll die first. Do you want to die, Shinji? This is how you break Shiro. This is how you break Shiro. I've switched over completely. Tosaka said something about pushing a switch in my head, but it's not like that. Plain. A hammer strikes in my head and the inside of my body completely changes. This is your last warning. Stop the boundary field, Shinji. You don't get it, do you? The more you ask me, the less I feel like stopping the boundary field. If you dislike it so much, why don't you stop me by force? So I see. Then it's simple. So basically, I need to stop him before I can stop this boundary field. My body leaps. My body is burning like a fire. There's less than 20 meters between me and Shinji. For me right now, that will only take an instant. 
My body is full of energy vastly higher than when I have a magic circuit inserted in me. <laughs> as much as I'd like for Shiro to start punching Shinji repeatedly, I'm pretty sure this is the part where Ryder will step in. <laughs> you really are stupid. The shadow wiggles. The shadow, settled in the corner of the hallway, starts to take form and move. A sharp edge made of black. Like a guillotine to cut anything that approaches Shinji. I don't know what kind of magic it is. There are three shadows. With that number... Well... Okay, I guess we have a choice here. Let's save. This is choice number 13. Fate choice number 19. Um, did I say 19 at first? Hold on. Yeah, we're good, we're good. I got it right. So... I genuinely don't know which one will lead to Shiro's death. Or failure, otherwise. I think there are valid reasons why either could work or either could fail, so I guess I just have to guess. But, uh, let's try just going full steam ahead. There's no need to stop. There's no need to stop. No matter how strong it may be, it's useless if I, useless if I can't hit me. Uh, if it can't hit me. The three sharp edges approach me. <laughs> You're the stupid one, Shinji! An attack like this is easily avoidable compared to Saber's attack. <gasps> what? I passed through the opening between the three shadows. I felt no threat in the shadows. So there's no problem. Saber has taught me that if it doesn't make me sense death, I should not hesitate. Shinji! Shinji? I closed in on him. There's no shadows to protect him. Wait, so that was, was that really his magic? How'd he do that? Uh, well, I know he's a liar, so maybe he was just lying about his magical abilities. A few more steps. If I close three more meters, I can... <laughs> yeah, no. Ooh. Ooh, I like this. Mm. Okay, this this thing that's on my screen right now, this does things for me. Mm. Stop! Don't come near me! Shinji runs away. The instant I reach out to his back, I feel a chill run through my whole body, and I quickly withdraw my extended arm. Something cuts through the air. A sharp black edge cuts through the space I was in a moment ago. I stop. I don't know where it came from, but in front of me... Yeah, there she is. It is a woman in black who makes even the red seem faint. Uh-oh. 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 My mind stops in fear. I'll be killed. I don't want to think about it, but an image of my head being ripped off pops into my head. This is... a sense of death that the previous shadows cannot even compare to. <laughs> Good, writer. Don't restrain yourself, you can do what you like with him. Ryder's figure becomes vague. I... Well, what the hell? But... <laughs> gonna throw another choice? But... Um... Okay, I need to rewind and see the other choice. I'm pretty sure that's just how Shiro will die, so... 
I can't block it myself. Let's cower it out. I can't block them myself. No. I can manage to avoid them. But if, I'm a, but if I am to dodge and attack Shinji, I don't know if my body will move well enough to do so. The three sharp edges approach me. <laughs> I stop in my tracks and concentrate on avoiding the attack while watching Shinji. Taking a step to the left, I dodge the edge that jumps to stab my stomach. I turn my upper body to avoid the second one that tries to assault my chest from the left side, and avoid the third attack that reaches for my forehead by taking a step forward. No problem, I can see them clearly. Such attacks are like dodgeball compared to Saber's attacks. Damn! You're insolent! He fires three shadows once again. I don't even need to keep watch this time. I know its range and speed now from the first attack. I can avoid them with no trouble. I pass through their opening between the three shadows. There's nothing dangerous about them. I feel no threat in the shadows. Saber has taught. Wait, this is this is this matching back up? Three more meters. Y yeah. Oh well, it does match up then. So if we fast forward. Okay. Um. I know it probably doesn't matter at all, but I think I'm just going to re rewind a bit. I want to take that first choice. It made sure I would look cooler, and it's probably scared Shinji more. There's no need to stop, and we'll skip forward to the next choice. Okay. So, let's save here. Uh, fate choice number 20. Um... Okay, well, this should be extremely obvious. Beat her before I get beaten? Yeah, Shiro's gonna die, so let's pick that first. I have no chance of winning against a servant. I'll certainly be killed if I fight. So all I can do is beat Shinji before that and make Raida retreat. I, wait. Beat Shinji, not her? Oh. I think that was a mistranslation for that choice, then. <laughs> I kick the floor, not being pushed back by Ryder's pressure. There is only six meters to Shinji. If I can avoid Ryder even once, I'll be able to run and get Shinji. The servant in black stands in my way. I concentrate my senses to her every move so I can react to any attack. Her target is my left side. Her left fist made a small motion. I managed to dodge her first attack, go through the space between Ryder and the wall, and run towards Shinji. Her figure disappears. My plan to go through the opening is meaningless. Ryder's figure disappears from my view, and in an instant, in front of me is an open path. This is bad. I have to stop myself. I screwed up. Saber told me that many times, but I still did not get it. I can't go forward. I can't face Ryder. Even if it's just one blow, I shouldn't have made a plan that required me to dodge a blow. The impact comes from behind me. Ryder, sticking to the ceiling like a spider, stabs my afterbrain with a blow following a crescent track. Whoa! <laughs> Air leaks out from my neck. The movement of Ryder's arm was really beautiful. It had grace, as if it were touching a daffodil. With a movement of fingers that would not cause even a ripple in water, she has taken away my life. <laughs> Nice work. You're just like a specimen pierced from behind like that. 
治療を施せばまだ助かると思いますが I have gone easy on him. I believe he can still be saved if you heal him. お前何勝手に仕切ってんだよ。手加減しろなんて誰が言ったたく、サーバントのくせに、ご主人様に意見なんかしてんじゃない Hey, what are you doing making choices on your own? Who said to go easy on him? Jeez, servants shouldn't give opinions to their master. My blood flows out. No matter how much I move my lungs, I can't breathe in and my throat only wheezes. Deva, この少年を助ける気はないのですね Then you have no intention of saving this person? ないさ大体僕は治療魔術なんて使えないそいつはもう死ぬだけなんだからいい加減楽にしてやれよライダー Nope First of all, I can't use any healing magic. He's just going to die, so let him be at ease. 了解しました。私の結界で蝕むのではなく、直接喉を潤すとしましょう。I understand. I shall not melt him in my boundary field. I shall quench my thirst directly. Uh oh. A heavy metallic sound echoes. So. I guess that confirms it. The boundary field is a creation of riders. Damn. My body is lifted a little. She is staring at my bloody neck. The servant in black opens her mouth delicately and. bites into my neck as if kissing it? Okay, literally quench her thirst. Is, it, is Ryder a vampire? Crap. Okay, what. What vampires from like. History in the public domain do I know of? Like. There's obviously Dracula. Um. Or. But, uh. Nosferatu? Vlad? The Impaler?、Uh, I don't know any female vampires in history or.、Um, yeah, just in history or in pop culture. Well, not really pop culture, but that's more recent, but、um, you know what I mean. Like mythology. That's, that's what I'm thinking of. Okay, some religion or. Myth or legend of a. Okay, maybe not vampire specifically, but. A woman who drinks blood. Ah.、Oh. There has to be something, but nothing's coming to mind. But I think this is our biggest clue as to what Ryder's identity is. Wow. My blood is being sucked. My already scarce blood is sucked up by Ryder, not leaving a drop. My mind starts to fade. This blood sucking is like euthanasia. I feel no pain, and as if slowly being melted by Spider's poison, I. Dead. Well, looks like it's time for, for Taiga Dojo. You know what? It would actually be really good if it just, if it just loads in here and、uh, Fujimura's just unconscious on the ground. <laughs> I mean, I think that would be funny, but also kind of morbid. But. Good evening! This is the hint corner that supports all of you who want to die instantly, the Tiger Dojo. Wow, as a millennial, I find this very relatable. I'm the senior student, Ilya. Shut up, Ilya, no one likes you, go away. Oh, 
The main storyline is almost up to the middle stage. Oni-chan is happy that Shiro was willing to fight. Wow, so we're almost halfway through fate? Huh? Okay then, good to know. But this choice is troublesome. Were you really listening to Saber-chan's advice? Of course not. Saber and Rin's explanations are too long. I found it too annoying, so I skipped the entire training scene. Out of everything Ilya has ever done, that is the most unforgivable. You stupid student! Ouch. I I'm sorry. It's just a small lie. Jeez. Look, unless you're in a lot of danger, avoid fighting a servant head on. There'll be a chance if you keep holding on. You should be patient for now and let your opponent do as they wish. Oh, I understand. Do you? Do you really? By the way, you push a stamp of something every time we come to this dojo. What is it? That's called a tiger stamp. If you collect them, you'll feel good, and they're also a good way to see how much of the game you've completed already. And if you collect them all... And... Your screen will be filled with paws! Okay. <laughs> Scary. So I can't be helped, held responsible even if you go through lots of trouble to collect them. So I'll be waiting at the next Tiger Dojo. We'll be waiting. Okay. I think I actually did see those. We go to extra here. Um. Let's see. No. Ending list, that's it. Yeah, these are the tiger stamps. Oh, wait, oh! I didn't realize clicking that would start that. No. Uh... So... Yeah, it looks like... I, I assume these five tarot cards are... actual proper endings. And these tiger stamps are potential game overs, so... Looks like we haven't missed any so far. That's pretty good. Good to know. Um. Huh. So there's 40, huh? Jeez. Ah, oh, this is gonna be a long time. According to this, I have played Fate Stay Night for 1 days, 21 hours, and nearly 30 minutes of my entire life. Wonderful. <laughs> well, let's hurry up and load in. This time, I know that I can't match Ryder. <sighs> Man, I want to think so hard about who Ryder could be, but I just don't know yet. Dang. I retreat instantly. Now is not a good time. I have to regroup and make Shinji stop the boundary field after that. I desperately retreat, not knowing what's going on. My vision turns white from fear. I don't even know what I'm scared of. But I raise my hand, still not knowing what's going on, and block my neck. Whoa. A sharp object is thrust into my arm. 
Come to think of it, we haven't actually seen what Ryder's weapon is. Might be some sort of dagger. Uh, the dull sound that scrapes my bone tells me I will be killed next. I run. I don't even have time to turn my back. I cover only my vitals with my hands and retreat desperately. Um... The sound of cutting echoes through the hallway. With an annoying sound, the sharp object cuts my body apart. My vision is blocked by the spray of blood coming out of my body. Beyond it... Oh. Yo! Okay, so that's the chains then. Whoa, let's have a look here. That's cool. It's like, um... Like, I want to say it's a Kusari Gama, but I've never seen a Kusari Gama like that. Usually, one end of a Kusari Gama is Sickle, and the other is a Counterweight. This is like dual daggers connected by a chain. Neat. Um... I'm not- I'm still not sure what sort of mount that Ryder's meant to ride in combat, but... Oh well. Is Ryder coming at me? Uh, uh, coming at me at a speed I can't even see. Every time I get cut, a voice that doesn't seem like my own escapes my mouth. But I still continue desperately to retreat, saving my life from numerous fatal blows. I don't know what I'm doing. My arm is blocking Ryder's dagger. My clothes are ripped apart, and my flesh is as well. But it must still be working as a shield as it desperately blocks the blows coming at my neck, forehead, and heart. Force of will is not there. My body reacts to Ryder's blow purely from not wanting to die. I'm already out of breath. I'm only running because I'm being hurried by the presence of death in front of me. I'll just run out of strength, get caught, and die. That's why she told me. She told me not to fight against servants and that I would be no match for them. Even though I listened to her, why? What am I doing now? I have to catch Shinji quickly and have him remove the boundary field, so what am I doing? What are you doing, Ryder? That's enough! Just kill him now! He won't be able to do anything anyway. Shinji's voice is filled with triumph. Nodding, Ryder swings her dagger in a large arc. A blow directed at my head. I cannot dodge it. All I can do is to stop it hitting a fatal point. The dagger stabs me in my shoulder, right below my collarbone. A loud metallic sound, and the cluck of a ton. Huh? What is this? The end of Ryder's dagger is breaking apart. This is surprising. I cannot kill him with my dagger. What? What? Ryder stops. In the instant that I consider how to make use of that opening. Then die falling. I feel an impact like being hit with a sledgehammer, and I'm knocked out the window. Oh my god. Um... Are, are we... Are we supposed to live through this? I only took a roundhouse kick to the stomach, but that blows my body away and I'm thrown out the window. It's the third floor. I should die from loss of blood even without anything, so falling from this height should finish me off. 
No. I should have died the moment I received the blow that flung me a few dozen meters. I reach out. Maybe I'm not falling yet, or it's just an illusion. My body is still in the air. Not. Uh, why? I reach out my arm, as if to cling on to something. The sky is red. The school building is throbbing as if it's the stomach of a living thing. Am I... going to die overlooking something like this? Like this? Like this? Like this? Like this? Am I going to die selfishly, unable to save anybody? <laughs> Why? I grit my teeth in vain. I cannot beat her. I cannot even be a match. I knew that, but I made a mistake. I don't care about the pain in my body. I'm just going insane from the anger. This is the result of... Saying I can handle things myself, and saying I won't let Saber fight. <laughs> I was the stupid one. I can't save anyone by myself. If I really wanted to end this war, there was just one thing to do from the beginning. He said it. If I am to not fight anybody, not kill anybody, or not let anyone kill... That if I realized I was wrong, I should decide what to correct and what to punish. And so, on my arm, reaching out as if to grab the heavens, is the command spell waiting for my order. I knew it. <laughs> what do you mean, three choices? <laughs> oh, well... Summon Saber, that's decisive. That's what's going to happen. Get Saber to just teleport in and catch him and finish the fight. <laughs> but if I can get Saber to help me, that's too vague a wish for the command spell. It's not going to be powerful enough. It'll fail. And no, I can't use my command spell. <laughs> that's how Shiro will just die from fall damage. <laughs> So, let's save. This is going to be fate choice number 21. Fate choice number 21. Yes. I think the most obvious choice we should pick first is command spell. No, I can't use my command spell here. My mind hesitates for an instant. As I'm an unskilled master, the command spell is a trump that I can only use three times. Right after I calmly analyze that I can't use it without giving it more thought. I fall on my back. I fall under the ground after being kicked off the third floor. It's fatal. Well, it's effectively fatal. I blocked my fall to avoid hitting my head, but it would have been enough to break every bone in my body. No. I'm bleeding. A ridiculous amount of blood is pouring out of me. But it's all coming from my chest. My back is fine, and I've endured the impact of the fall, so why? Why is such a strange thing sticking out of my chest? What? Uh, Did Shiro get impaled on something? My chest is open. Something like the blade of a sword is bursting from inside my chest to outside. It's as if a bomb was set in my body and it went off from the impact of the fall. I don't know why. My chest has holes in it. Like a rib sticking out, a group of swords is sticking out from my stomach. What? My body starts to melt slowly while I blankly stare at it. Uh, 
quick. I have to stop it. My body won't move. The miracle that cur cured even that blow from Berserker doesn't seem to have any effect on these swords. My thoughts are being cut apart. Even if I want to use the command spell, my left hand has already melted. <gasps> I breathe in just once. The air I breathe in is painful. And coughing up regurgitated blood, my heart stops. Oh, <laughs> what did Shiro land on? That was weird. I don't know what it was. A bunch of swords? Stop, Tiger! You ate the fleur cake I hid in the fridge, right? Fleur means flower in French, I believe. <laughs> it's your fault for keeping it. Don't you know what expiration date means? My ears. Ow. Who cares? Just give me back my cake, you big tiger. <laughs> I cannot give back something I've already digested. Actually, Ilya-chan, that dissection-like red cake with tons of raspberries on it is in bad taste. Is that really fleur cake? <laughs> Raflesia? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, its name is Raflesia Umbrella. <laughs> For anyone who doesn't know, the Raflesia is the smelliest, grossest flower in the world. Its stench is like worse than skunks. If you're familiar with Pokemon, the Pokemon Vileplume is a Raflesia. That's what's on its head. The more you know. It's a monstrous and deadly new product that uses the world's biggest flower, Raflesia, as its motif. Motif. I hear that to get the rotten smell, they use the real Raflesia flower instead of a rose. Oh, no wonder the texture felt like steak. Fleur's management has reached its limit. It's in its closing years if a sweet store starts to make new products. What? That cake wasn't good? It looked really red and pretty. I like how they're just ignoring what just happened in the game completely. Uh, Ilya-chan, we have to do something about your aesthetic sense first. Well, the talk about cakes ends now. We're starting Tiger Dojo, the corner that saves you people who yield to irrational choices. All preparations are ready, Master. Yes, then the state of your death this time is... Oh, you died from falling. Even though you have this mysterious healing power, you'll die if you fall from the third floor. <laughs> it 
Incidentally, you would normally die from Ryder's roundhouse kick going through your stomach. Uh, it really is Die Hard. But... Is that a reference to the movie Die Hard? If so, it's lost on me as I haven't actually watched that film. All I know is that it's the best Christmas story ever. It's not strange for Shiro to be killed at any time, so if something like use the command spell appears as a choice, you should use it without hesitation. So go back to the previous choice and redo that scene. Summon Saber Chan quickly and beat that sexy battle Oni Chan. That's. That's new. Sexy? <laughs> well, alright. Uh, reload. So that leaves us with the two other choices Summon Saber. If I can get Saber to help me. Um, well, we definitely are out of time. We have no tr no chance of uh, having enough time to see either one of these play out. But I have to wonder how these differ. Like, I feel like this indecisiveness, this vagueness will not work out well for Shiro. But I suppose we'll have to see next time. So for now, um, yeah, let's return to top. Um, for now, I feel like this is actually going to be a pretty decisive battle because what reasonably is going to happen next is that Saber will get teleported here. And then she'll be able to fight Ryder. And I think that, well, Ryder's daggers just got destroyed. But even with them, I would guess that Saber could handily defeat Ryder. Like, <laughs> for all intents and purposes, she feels more like the role of an assassin more than the real assassin does, you know? This, all this shadow magic and... Uh, these daggers and stealth and agile reflexes uh, hanging from the ceiling, like... <laughs> these roles feel switched, but... I digress. Next time, it's... Looking like Shiro has actually had some harsh realizations about the truth of his situation. I, I mean, they always say that hindsight is twenty twenty. And Shiro has now come face to face with the consequences of his lofty ideals. For better or for worse, he has realized that Archer was completely correct about him. So at this point, I think this marks a turning point. This is... From now on, I think... Well, I sincerely hope that Shiro will be different from now on. He's, I think he will accept the fact that the violence must happen and that he must rely on Saber. At least that's what I hope, so can't wait to see what happens next. In the meantime, I'm Zephyr the Jester. This has been more Fate Stay Night. Thank you for watching and hopefully I will catch you next time. So until then, please take care.